We are reassessing our greatest war hero's legacy. Joining us now, broadcaster James Whale, who says Churchill should be celebrated as a great leader. But Professor Kehinde Andrews says people put Churchill on a pedestal, but history shows he's a racist. Now, why? Why? I mean, the historical record here is clear. Even Boris Johnson admits that he was a racist. He was someone who believed that the white race was superior, that natives didn't have any right to their lands in the Americas, that Indians were a ghastly people, and just was a general imperialist racist. Is it was there any way that we can say, because those were the views of their time, and the fact that he actually achieved something which saved, defended, protected our nation, means that we can separate those things well, out. That's the other. Jimmy Savile defence, isn't it? It was just a bit different back in the day. Well, actually, the likening Sir Winston well, Churchill I mean, to Jimmy Savile. Well, let's make a better comparison. At the time, Leo Amory, the Secretary of India, not anti-racist, actually said that Churchill's views were so extreme on India, he couldn't separate them from Hitler's. And the truth is, Hitler was a great military leader, a product of his time, and if they won the war, we'd be having discussion now. But saying, luckily, we can, luckily right. we can separate Sir Winston Churchill from Hitler. Because, because they went up against each other in the war because and one Sir Winston won Churchill and won. One lost. The fact of the matter is that Churchill's views were so repugnant and they actually led to three million people starving to death in Bengal because he was more interested in stockpiling rations for the war than saving starving Indians because he didn't does believe they were really people. Does it not people. matter to you one scintilla that Sir Winston Churchill almost single-handedly rallied this country into winning World War II <laughs> against the Nazis and Adolf Hitler. Well, that's also not true, and misses that the is point. That is completely no, true. People in India... Which part of in that the, statement is not in, true? One man did not win the war. People in India, people in the Caribbean, people in Africa also contributed to the war. You don't think... The idea that one person won the war is crazy. That's your <laughs> hatred of Winston Churchill is <laughs> such Churchill. that you cannot even give him credit for rallying the mood of this country when everyone thought the war was done and dusted... Including all those defeated. people, by Here's, the way a, here's that a better mentioned. question. Is your view of Britishness so myopic that you can't understand that people in India, Africa and Caribbean count just as much as people here? And for people there, people whose families starved to death because Churchill couldn't be bothered to send them rations? Of course Churchill's a hero. Look, there, there, there is no doubt that in different times we could say all those Americans who go on about our great America is should get the out of there because they nicked it off the uh, the, the indigenous population. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is part of history. And maybe we should say the same <laughs> about the Italians coming here in Roman times. Look, if it hadn't been for Winston Churchill, and, hey, we all have flaws, I think we probably would not have had the, uh, the stomach right. to take on Hitler. Absolutely. So he rallied everybody in this country at a time. Just remember when... And around when, the world. Remember when... And, uh, can I just the say... I, I want to say something, because I, I, I quite like you, and I've seen you on TV <laughs> before. When I was at school, and this is bad, <laughs> when I was at school, I never learned that any uh, Asian or black soldiers fought in the Second World War. I think that is terrible. Mm -hmm. But... Back on to Churchill. Of course he is a British hero, like Margaret Thatcher, like uh, various other people I could think of. When uh, What's-His-Face came back and, and said, there will be peace in our time... Chamberlain. Thank you very much indeed. Um, uh, everybody was about to give in to Hitler. Now, have mm -hmm. we done that? Can you imagine... Well, we wouldn't all be here. Why do you not think this is historically accurate? Do you, do you really think this is how history works, that one person turns up and goes, actually, oh, and words actually, a magic one, actually, and all of a sudden... In World War II, that's, I that's genuinely, genuinely believe, and this is why he was recently voted the greatest ever Britain, is that notwithstanding <coughs> his flaws and inflammatory rhetoric and all those things, none of which are, I think, in dispute, mm -hmm. Churchill evolved as a man and he became, for his time, a wonderful leader for the country. You all motivating need... morale yeah. both yeah. of civilians and people on you, the front line you to, ra to rally when it looked like it you was do. over. You need leadership. You need yeah, somebody who gonna... can get people fired up to go into battle. Hey, Kinsey, who is the perfect politician, what? No, and campaigner, this... no, come on, tell leader. No, there's, there's there no is no like Jeremy one. Corbyn. There's do you no want to see, one. Do you want to see Jeremy <laughs> Corbyn? Who? No, but I mean, name I mean, somebody. No, honestly, I think this is... Hey, the... do you have any heroes? Oh, Ma Malcolm X, I mean, come on. I love Malcolm, Malcolm X, X, right? X me, but, but Malcolm I mean... X, I could paint a very different yeah. picture of Malcolm X to the Let's one you... Let's talk about Mandela. I could say that he was a racist. He was inflammatory. But he wasn't, though. Well, he was inflammatory. Actually, Malcolm X said many inflammatory things, right? Nelson Mandela, hero or terrorist? Nelson Mandela was a seller, but that's another question. <laughs> he was a what? Sell Sell out. Sell out. But that's another question. Well, man, man, man man he served <laughs> 30 years in prison and then came out and practiced yeah. peace and broke when there could have been civil war is a sellout. My point is this. Like, you have a problem, at... Gindy, in looking at heroes <laughs> and, looking, is, and, looking, is the... and looking for, for the bad side 
and overlooking no, the massive think, bigger picture. I think the problem, and this is a problem that Britain has, the reality is that the history of this country is built on racism. And therefore, everybody involved in it, it probably has a really racist well, past. And this is a problem. I admit this is a problem for you. My problem, but this is true. It, it. You're a smart guy. My problem is when smart, <laughs> smart people like you <laughs> basically say this country was built on racism, it was. it's full of racism, and remains built, racist, right? Do you right. mean because it's built on colonialism? That's a really good argument. I have a problem with that position. I think it's a load of old baloney when you say that. What? I think it's a great country, right? Are you a great country I know, and you great to people. Say that. I understand why. I'm not going like to be. I'm not going to be told to feel ashamed of my Aren't country. You? It's because you uh, say I, we're I, a bunch of Just a minute, Piers. Just a minute. Otherwise, I don't get to say anything, Piers. Just <laughs> calm down, right? Why don't you like living in this country? Why don't I like living yeah, in this country? Because, because I think you know. Why do you live in this country? The unfortunate truth is that my parents, my my family, were taken in slavery to the Caribbean and had to migrate here because they were so poor in the Caribbean. But what am I? Not my choice. Why do you still live here when you're a successful man? You've got enough money to live somewhere else. Why do you live in this country? Love. And this is the problem with Churchill. Like, this colonialism, this imp yeah. imperialism has ruined the other parts of the, co the world around going. No, that's not my question. Ruin my question them. is if you could. No, of course, that, that's if not you hate I, everything this country hate, stands for. I don't hate this country, but well, I do. Well, you said that you, you believe do. we're a racist country yes. built on racism yes. and, must, and remain racist. Yep. Why would, why why would you? Yes. So why would you, <laughs> that's a, that's a, a, black man, a black man who has the means to leave the country, why would you where, stay here? Where would I go? Because Britain's impact on the world has been so you devastated most of the world. So, so where would I go? Exactly. So there's no way you could go in the world because we ruined the But Churchill is a big part of that reason why. That's a big part of the reason why. I've just been in the Caribbean a few months ago in Antigua. Beautiful island, right? What was? Yeah. It is a beautiful island. Yeah, but did you see the island? We just made your face. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 got, it's got lovely, it's got lovely, it's got lovely foliage. But the fact of the matter is, well, the the <laughs> I mean, sandy beaches. Talking I'm talking about, about the Car oh, what, you're talking about you're Antigua, talking about the where they genocide of the people who live there. we are all been killed. Where you had slavery. Where you have colonialism, economies that can't work for themselves. Yeah, it's a beautiful country, but it's not beautiful in any other way. What could Britain do if we had to to make amends in your eyes? What would you like to see Britain do to make everything right? Reparations. It was very clear. Like there's a debt. What money? Owed. Yeah, there's a debt. We've got any money. The Labour Party took it, didn't they? Money. We haven't there's got any de money. There's there. a debt. Why don't you live somewhere else? Seriously. Like I said, where would I go that Britain hasn't devastated? I don't know. Real question. Jamaica devastated. Nigeria devastated. Ghana devastated. Where would I go that Britain hasn't devastated? Nigeria devastated. Nigeria devastated. Nigeria devastated. You Where think we've devastated, devastated, devastated every single part of planet Earth? Every single part where black people live. Yes. Right. So you think... hundred percent. So this country is the most despicable country in the history of mankind. Most despicable, like, but this is. Is it or not? Not the most despicable. No. Would you one rather live in America? <laughs> one of the oh, most. God, America's one of the worst. Well, there we are. This, that, one America's of the most. Worse. One worse. of the most. <laughs> it's not about this country or that country. Yeah. It's about a system which Actually, impoverishes you, people in the world. When you attack this country, I'm not attacking the which country. Which is my country too, by the way. It's equally my country. I don't understand why you want it to be your country. Because you hate Winston Churchill. You hate Britain. You think we're a bunch of nasty racists who've ruined the entire planet. Why would you Hang on, there it? must be somebody in Britain you like. Who do you like? I Give like me lots a name. Of people in Britain. Well, well, name one famous person you famous like. Famous person. One like. famous person in I like. In yeah. Britain. Who's yeah. in Britain today? A politician. Yeah. A politician yeah. from Britain. Who like. Come on, Come on. one, just one. Claudia Jones was great. Huh? Claudia Jones. She was Who's a, Claudia Jones? She was a Trinidadian Marxist. And Trinidad at this time was in Britain. Trinidadian Marxist? Yeah, but, uh, this is the point. A Marxist it, <laughs> your idea yeah. of the perfect yeah, person. Perfect Britain. A Marxist? In Trinidad. Okay, but on. my point is, she Marxism was born... Marxism was responsible for slaughter of millions uh, of people around the world. And the British Empire was, support, was, was responsible uh, for what, exactly? So your idea of like, perfection is a Marxist. Tri I you should look at Claudia name. Jones. Look at Claudia Jones. If you have the means to leave... If you don't have the means to leave, I get it. He doesn't leave. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Yeah, there's no world the entire thing. planet you could leave. If you yeah, went to one of those Where other countries, you might be able to help improve them because you're really a, a Let me bright tell you, guy. if I could go, it's I would go and move to Antigua tomorrow. <laughs> I know, and, and, and do what I would love to live in Antigua. <laughs> One bright country. Columns. He'd go yeah, and your portrayal of Antigua is so I'm from, far removed I, my from the My family, reality. my family are from the Caribbean. I know what Which what, what, what Jamaica. Jamaica. And I know what Jamaica this country has done to Jamaica. Jamaica is a wonderful country with wonderful people. With lots of poverty, lots of crime, lots of lots of debt, and hasn't yeah. and hasn't got an economy. So there is no way you could go because Britain's full of an igloo. There's no igloos in Iceland. What about going to live in the middle of Iceland in an igloo? There's no igloos in Iceland. How about Britain? Atone, how about Britain atones for what you've done to the world? Where are the Eskimos? Where are the Eskimos? Why don't you come on my talk radio programme tonight? We'll carry this Brilliant. on because he's going to cut us off Isn't now. Isn't it? <laughs> it's lovely to talk to you both. Where are the igloos? Somewhere. Antarctica? Co with They're cold. You don't want to go there. Exactly no, right. I'm just trying to think somewhere that Candy could live where he wouldn't feel such hate. He doesn't hate. want to go. He doesn't feel hate. He does feel hate. He's hate being provocative. No, I don't hate. I do not hate Britain, but I'm critical of it. I think that's fair to say. Say one good thing about this country. 
the weather. <laughs> yeah, serious, exactly. no, serious question. <laughs> so one serious good thing question. about this country. You can say whatever you like. Yeah. One, one good, th good thing about Britain. Yeah. One good thing about Britain. Is, you know, look, at least, at least we can have a debate, right? Yeah. Exactly. That's right. a good thing. Yeah. That's Thank it. you. That's a good thing. Thank the you. only good debate. thing is you think food? we can debate food. Uh, yeah, Indian food and Caribbean food. Yeah, right. yeah. You can get it yes. in. You can get it in Britain. So yeah. that's yeah. good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you. Yeah. So multiculturalism. <laughs> multiculturalism is the one good thing you like about Britain. What Churchill actually won us, despite all your rhetoric? What Churchill won us was the freedom to eat great Indian and Caribbean food. He was the figure. Churchill did not. A Churchill did not win it, and B we should be more critical. Right. I'm, I'm calling I'm time. Thank you very much indeed.